Hello everyone, today I'm going to talk about another game that just blows. Nights into Dreams for the Sega Saturn, PS2, and now the 360, PS3, and PC. So what is this game? Well, basically, I don't even get the point of it. It's supposed to be a stupid game where you fly through rings in the vein of other great game classics such as Superman 64 and Sonic 06, but this time... Guess what happens? You can't even control it. The controls suck. So have at this game, let's start it off. So the first thing you'll notice is the sign of quality. This game was made by Sonic Team, the greatest developers of our time, along with Titus, and of course, Data Design Interactive. So the plot from what I could decipher is in some stupid poorly 3D rendered city some kids fell asleep after having horrible days some girl failed some fucking audition and some kid failed to win some stupid game I mean those are first world problems I mean it's not like there's some kids in Africa who are starving because they couldn't get food some kids in the bad part of town who have to grow up on the street or some kids being trapped in a repressive country where horrible things happened, such as them not getting access to food. The horror! But nah, this is worse. I mean, it's not equal on par with other first world problems, such as not being able to watch a TV show for little girls with a certain cartoon book. Oh god, really? Well, that's what the fuck I could make out of the plot from Wikipedia, because all in all this game, I don't even know the point of it. It's stupid. So, the remakes of this have two modes. One, which lets you play with the original Sega Saturn graphics, which have aged extremely poorly, and newer graphics, which look more like a PS2 game, or early Dreamcast game. Well, this was a PS2 game, but it came out in 2008, and the graphics don't even look that great. So the first thing you'll notice, well, the graphics have aged horribly. You've got, I know, I know this is a Saturn game, but Saturn didn't have that good 3D, let's face it. And, of course, not just the graphics, but the gameplay. The gameplay sucks balls. The gameplay is basically you fly around with knights not knowing where the fuck you're supposed to be going. They don't give you directions, even though you're supposed to hold one way. You just hold one way until you run out of time, which always seems to happen. And the stages are looping and repetitive. So you'll be confused. Am I supposed to be going this way? Am I supposed to be going that way? You'll never know, because this game is so repetitive and boring. I did I mention, just like Superman 64, there's a time limit, so if you don't fly through these stupid rings fast enough, then you'll have to do horrible things such as walk on the ground with this broken ass engine. And did I mention, when you're flying through, did you know that other stuff has happened, such as, oh, I don't know, the backgrounds, just like Sonic Generations, blend in sometimes so you'll be confused on where the fuck you're supposed to be going. How is this game supposed to be fun? It's just annoying and broken as fuck. Wow, this is so amazing, walking in an engine that wasn't designed for walking. What are they gonna do next? Um, make a game which is like flight simulator but you have to walk and shit? I mean seriously. The walking's bad, you'll get stuck in the terrain all the time. Same with the jumping. And best of all, the arrow doesn't even mean shit. You could jump over here. That happens. I don't even know what the fuck the developers of this piece of shit were smoking. This is stupid. Now, the game, well, the PS2 version lets you also play with upscaled graphics, which are new models, new everything, 3D models for stuff. Looks so much better, but the gameplay still sucks balls, and yeah, the gameplay is exactly the same. What's been changed? Absolutely nothing. The gameplay is the same fly through rings crap. The camera also happens to move on its own. And you know the worst part? The music is overrated, it's not even that great. And it's also kind of annoying. Especially if you played Sonic Adventure 
It's just, oh, Ray, the kind of stuff you'd hear on an elevator. Ding! You have now reached floor number three, going up. So yeah, that's all I really need to say. This game's bad, it hasn't aged well, it's not fun at all. Don't buy this game, please. Save your money and go play better games that have aged better and aren't confusing by telling you 20 different places to go, like this game is. Save your money and go play better video games. There are so many better video games. Trust me, you'll, you'll thank me later.